Okay, everyone. No one's here, so I can be as loud as I want. Oh, my God. The door is open. Oops. Oopsie. <laughs> okay, so I literally haven't eaten for five fucking hours. And I'm not hungry. How? Well, guess what I've been doing? And literally, if I ate a shitload of food, I worked out, I would still remain probably the same way. I mean, I've been sun gazing all day. And the people who say that constantly, that they constantly say that it makes you not hungry. They aren't lying. It honestly does not make you hungry. Sun gazing takes away somehow Somehow, just looking at the fucking sun. This morning, before the sun was even kind of... There's a tree blocking uh, our, my window. Like, it's a giant, giant tree. So, in little cracks of the tree, I can see through. Like, the sun peeks through. But then once at 10 o'clock in the morning, the sun actually goes past the tree and it goes straight into my room and I can just sun gaze at it. But... The thing is, <laughs> I don't know if I increased it or, because I do iron body conditioning. I hit my body with bricks to make my body stronger and less resistant to pain. But holy shit, if you do sun gazing, you heal faster. You, It's just an amazing thing and I've only been doing it for six days. And the beginning days, I wasn't even doing it correctly. I mean, you can do it that way if your eyes are way too sensitive. I mean, your eyes absorb the sunlight because your eyes are connected to the brain. But the thing is, I'm going back out and I'm not eating before I go back out. Holy shit. I mean, normally I have anxiety about eating. I'm skinny. I know that. You don't have to tell me that twice. But normally I have anxiety about eating. Like, I'll say, oh, I'm so low energy. I have to eat more. I need to have, eat more for more energy. No, no. The only times I'm going to eat more now is when I work out. I didn't work out today. I mean, I have all this fucking energy. I have never had this much goddamn energy. Literally. And all I had to do, the, like, throughout the day is just look up like a crazy person, at the sun for like three seconds each time. Because that's all my eyes could really handle. But this morning, I was able to glare at the sun through those peaks in the tree for like 30 seconds. And then once the sun came up, each time I did it for like 10 seconds, each time. And then that added up in time for probably like 40 minutes. I did lots of sun gazing today. And I did it all the way home. And then I said, fuck it. I'm just, I don't want to wear a shirt. I'm sweating. And then I got all these glares from people. It's like, oh my God, society. He's not wearing a shirt. Bad, bad. We're taught, we're taught we need to wear shirts in society. Go to Hawaii. No one's wearing a shirt. Or they're just wearing, I don't know. But here in, in like suburban neighborhoodness. It's just like, you can't do this, you can't do that, you can't do this. When I eat meat, when I eat vegetables, they do nothing! I'm sorry, overly squeaky voice. They don't do shit! Meat makes me feel like I want to sit down and just sit and do something on a computer or a cell phone and play a game. As were vegetables, don't make me full. I have to eat like a shitload of them to become full. They actually make me more hungry. I know that they're good for you. I get that. I eat both of the things. But every time I've tried to fast and not eat food, I always got hungry. And I always had this anxiety thing in my head where I said, I have to eat, I have to eat, I have to eat, I have to eat. But then today, from just fucking staring at the fucking sun, which I completely thought was a myth. You, you can't say it doesn't work until you fucking try it. You can't say anything doesn't work until you try it. And you know what else? 
I didn't need fucking water. I fucking didn't need water, and I didn't become dehydrated. You know why I say that the Bible is run off the sun? It's because three wise men were in the desert, and they fucking were guided by something in the sky. I don't know the whole story. I'm sorry. I don't want to judge the Bible or anything or piss anyone off. It's just that I know in some stories of the Bible, they were guided by God. But the sun, if they were stuck in the desert and this effect happens, who the fuck knows? Maybe those were true stories and maybe they did sun gazing and maybe they just said that the sun was God. Lots of old societies, lots of ancient civilizations base the sun on gods because the sun gives them power. And today, today, actually looking directly at the motherfucking sun gave me all this fucking energy. Fuck. Just fuck. Usually by now, by now, like, I come home, I sit on my computer, I scroll through the internet, I'm like, maybe I should watch some shows, maybe. No, I feel like going back out. This is just, I'm sorry for the upbeat voice, but I actually feel like fucking going outside again and just going out for a second round. We lack energy, so we eat food. We eat fats and carbs for energy and protein, so we get energy. But it's never enough. We're like solar panels through our eyes. When we look at the sun, and I'm going to promote this video, we look at the sun and we get fucking solar energy. We're filling our bodies with energy. And I see videos of people on YouTube saying, you need to do sun gazing for only this amount of time, and then you're fully charged. No! That is what one old Indian man said, and then everyone just followed that because no one else knew anything about sun gazing. I can gladly tell you, the more sun you get, the more sun gazing you get through your eyes to your brain, the stronger, the more confident, the more intelligent, the less you need for your body because you're self-getting nutrients. When I was a child, when I was just a little kid, I asked my mom, why can't we just directly get energy from the sun? I ask this because the sun gives the plants nutrients. It gives it vitamins. So why can't we just get it? And my mom just said something stupid. She's like, well, we're, we're humans. We don't, we don't, we don't, we don't, we don't, we don't, we don't work the same way. We, 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 no, we do work the same way. We get direct, direct nutrients from the sun, but in the society that we live in, we're lied to, we're told the sun gives us fucking cancer. We're lied to about that. They tell us, the big industries tell us, you're gonna get cancer, unless you rub this, you rub this shit into your skin that gives you cancer. Then once you get cancer, you go to a hospital and they inject you with gas, nerve gas, synthetic nerve gas called chemo. <laughs> yeah, if you didn't know, chemo is nerve gas. It's a byproduct of nerve gas. And it was created, found out, in the Cold War, when they saw that it was killing the bad cells in soldiers. But it also, it wasn't fixing the good cells. It was killing both the bad, and they found out that it didn't work, but they kept going with it. And people still fall for it. You're paying to inject yourself with poison when you can be healed by the fucking sun, which is free, and it's right there. It's in the sky every day. You can heal yourself if you just take the time to go outside and look at the fucking sun. Because the doctors, the people you go to, I just saw a video of a guy who was sun gazing. He was taught by a master sun gazer. I'm going to call it that because he's been doing it for 45 years. And he doesn't go out in public because he can't be around normal people. Yeah. So this guy did sun gazing for a day and he felt amazing. So then he wanted to trick the eye doctors and see what they would say about his eyes and see if they would trick him. 
And they tried to. They said, well, right here, they did like all this shit to him, all these experiments. All they put stuff in his eyes. They took pictures. They did diagnosis. When really, he just had to stare into the sun. He got as much fucking energy as me, and he felt amazing. And he only had to do it for five minutes. When instead, you could go to the eye doctor, put some fucking glasses on, make your eyes rely on them, and your vision becomes worse. We are lied to in this society that we need glasses, that we need the newest product, that we need all this bullshit that we don't need. When really, you could leave your house, you could leave your horrible fucking parents, you could leave the people you hate, and you could travel around the world, and every day, every five minutes of the day, look up at the sun for a full minute, you won't be hungry, you won't be thirsty, and throughout the day, if you feel you need food, go up to a water fountain. But you know what I found out of the past three days? I've been doing this for six days, including today. My stomach starts hurting now when I eat processed food. And it's not even processed food, it's just meat that obviously has hormones in it, because all the meat in this fucking country has hormones in it. So they can grow the meat faster. They can grow the crops faster, they can grow the animal faster, everything can grow faster because we're impatient, and that's industry. Huh! Yeah! Have you seen me like this in any of my other fucking videos? No! I see sun gazing people on YouTube. Not many of them. I'm gonna be one of the biggest ones. I'm telling you that right now. I am! Right now, I am telling you, I will be the biggest sun gazer channel on YouTube, because I'm going to make updates of this. But I'm probably not going to be able to be this loud because my grandparents are always here. My grandma is away with a friend, and my step-grandpa is hiking. So I have the lucky opportunity. I, I really want to do these while hiking. Because if I hike, I can be direct sunlight. The problem is, I don't like the sun getting on my body, because it makes me sweat like crazy. I just want it to be in my pineal gland, my eyes or my pineal gland. If your eyes can't handle it, close your eyes, face your pineal gland to the sun. It's less effective, but it works. You will, if you face your pineal gland to the sun, you'll feel calm. You'll feel happier. Yeah, but if you face your eyes, it works faster because you're getting direct to the brain. And always remember, this side of your brain works this side of your body. This side of your brain works this side of your body. Every other sun gazing channel I see, they give limitations. They're like, this is what I do, and this is what you should do, but you don't have to. You know what I say? I say, I'm going to give you advice on everything that I find out, and I'm going to tell you it, and if you find it amazing, do it! Just do it! Like, like Shia LaBeouf says, do it! And I'm going to say like the other YouTubers. If you don't think it's amazing, don't do it! But wouldn't you rather have things for free instead of buying everything, buying workout supplements, buying all this shit that you don't need? When I went to my friend's house today, I saw... His brother had fucking 11 workout supplements. 11! That's like 400 fucking dollars or more. A workout supplement, depending on how much you get, is like 30 to 50 dollars. 11 of them. That's more than 400 dollars. That's called anxiety of your body. I'm fucking skinny. And I, I walked around outside without a shirt on. If you see a person walking around without a shirt on, it shows that they... Don't give a fuck what you think, honestly. So, yeah. Yeah. So I hope you see this video. You will like this video. You will comment and be positive about it. You will ask questions. 
and you will subscribe to me because my updates, I'll teach you things that will help you. The other YouTubers teach you things. But they're too goddamn spiritual. I can't handle the spiritual shit. Yeah, weird shit happens to me when I do this stuff. But I'm not going to be like, dude, we need to connect with the earth. We need to become one with ourselves. We need... I'm not going to become that. I'm going to be my swearing, honest, loving, fuck you kind of self. Got it? Good. Okay. Subscribe, like, comment, dance, get naked, attack your neighbors, kill everyone in the neighborhood, do whatever the fuck you want to do, like the hog twins say. Go make some coffee and throw it on your neighbor's face because he annoys you. I don't really do that because I don't talk to the neighbors. I don't like having neighbors. They're not mean people, but... Bye, everyone!